Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Chemviz. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important term from stereoisomerism called enantiomers. Enantiomers are defined as optical isomers which are mirror images of each other. In terms of absolute configuration, the two enantiomers have opposite absolute configuration on each and every chiral center. For example, L-lactic acid and D-lactic acid. They have the same molecular formula, the same connectivity of atoms and groups, but rotate the plane of polarized light equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, they are optical isomers. We can see here that they are mirror images of each other. So, they are enantiomers. There is only one chiral center. L-lactic acid has S configuration while D R. Thus, we can see that the two enantiomers have opposite absolute configurations. I am not going to discuss how to find absolute configuration in this lecture as I have made separate video for that. I have shared the link for this video in the description box or you can find by clicking on i button. You can use this method to find the relation between two optical isomers when they are drawn differently. Next example, L tartaric acid and D tartaric acid. These two have two chiral centers. L tartaric acid rotates the plane of polarized light towards the right. So it is called plus tartaric acid while D tartaric acid rotates the plane of plane polarized light towards the left so it is also called minus tartaric acid we can see here that these are mirror images of each other so enantiomers we can also find this relation by determining absolute configurations L has R R configuration while D S S. Since they are optical isomers with opposite configuration on each chiral center, so they are enantiomers. Let's have another example with three chiral centers and the two molecules are drawn in different projection formulas. Here one is in flying wedge formula while another in Fisher. Here there are two ways to find the relation between these two. The first is to draw both of them in the same projection formula and compare the structure and in, un in, in, in other assign the configuration on each chiral center and compare. Let's first convert the molecule drawn in flying wedge formula to Fisher. Then it will become like this. Now we can see that these two are mirror images of each other. So these are enantiomers. In second method, we will assign the configuration on each chiral center. The, configura the configurations in the left side compound are 2R, 3S, 4R, while in the right side compound 2S, 3R, 4S. Here we can see that these two have opposite configurations on each chiral center, so they are enantiomers. Let's have two cyclic structures. They are drawn in the same fashion. It is all, it is clearly visible that 
they have opposite configurations on each chiral center so they are enantiomers in other way if we rotate the right side compound about this axis through 180 degrees then it will give this structure now we can see that these two are the mirror images of each other and thus enantiomers if we talk about absolute configuration left side structure has r r while right one has s s since they have opposite configurations so they are enantiomers that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video